The first term of an arithmetic progression is equal to the first term of a geometric progression. The second term of the AP is equal to the fourth term of the GP, while the tenth term of the AP is equal to the seventh term of the GP. And then part A of the equation, given that A is the first term and D is the common difference of the AP, while R is the common ratio of the GP. Write the two equations connecting the AP and the GP. So we will begin with part A and then later on continue with the rest of the equation. So we are told that we have an AP and we also have a GP. Now the first term of the AP is equivalent to the first term of the GP. And then we are also told that the second term of the AP, now we need to take note that for an AP, the nth term is given by A plus N minus 1 by D, where N represents the number of terms, and then A is the first term and D is a common difference. So in this question, we are told that the second term of the AP that is the second term where n is now 2 given by a plus 2 minus 1 because n is 2 so that is 1d so here we are told that the second term which is now a plus d should be equivalent to the fourth term of the gp so for a gp the nth term is given by a r our n minus 1. So for this case, n is 4. So we'll simply have the fourth term for the GP is a r power 4 minus 1, that is 3. So the second term is equal to the fourth term of the GP. So we have a r power 3. The question continues by saying, while the tenth term of the AP is equal to the seventh term of the GP. Now, the tenth term of the AP that will be given by A plus 9D. Remember, we have now 10 minus 1, which is 9. And then that should be equivalent to the seventh term of the GP. And for the seventh term, we'll now have A R power 6 because it is 7 minus 1. So, Basically, for part A, we were required to write two equations connecting the AP and the GP. So this is the first equation required and this is the second equation. So that is for part A. For part B, find the value of R that satisfies the progressions. So the value of R will be obtained by solving this system of equations simultaneously and we can use substitution method. So for the first equation we can say, so we are done with part A, part B. For the first equation we can say D is equal to, so A crosses we have AR cubed minus A. And with this equation, we can now substitute it in the second equation. So we have a plus 9d, but d is now ar cubed minus a. So we'll have 9d, which is a, 9 into ar cubed minus a. And then we equate that to ar power 6. So when you open the brackets here, we'll have a plus 9 a r cubed minus 9 a is equal to a r power 6. We can note that a is a common factor so we can divide all through by a so that we have 1 plus 9 r cubed minus 9 is equal to r power 6. We can simplify it further by having so we can take the, the whole of the left hand side to the right hand side so that we have 
r power 6 minus 9r cubed plus 8. Remember 1 minus 9, that should give us negative 8. And negative 8 to the right hand side becomes positive, And then we'll have to equate it to 0. So from this, we need to note that we already have uh, a quadratic equation. So it's in quadratic form. And to make that uh, visible, we can let r power 3 be some letter say x and for that case substituting replacing r cubed with x our new equation will be x squared that is r power 6 r power 6 is equivalent to r cubed squared we have r cubed squared this should be r power 6 so r cubed we had let to be x so when we substitute it we are going to get x squared minus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0 so with this we can solve the quadratic equation using any of the methods we're comfortable with and for this case i'm going to use the quadratic formula so that x is equal to negative b and b is negative 9 so the negative of negative 9 is positive 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared so that is negative 9 squared that is 81 minus 4ac and a is the coefficient of x squared which is 1 so 4 times 1 times c which is 8 that should give us 32 and from there we can also divide it by twice a so that is 2 times 1 which is 2 so this further simplifies to 9 plus or minus 81 minus 32 that should give us 49 so we'll have the square root of 49 and that is 7 and then we divide by 2 so the first value of x here will be 9 plus 7 which is 16 16 divided by 2 that is 8 or x can also be 9 minus 7 which is 2 2 divided by 2 that is 1 so from here remember we are not interested in the value of x but we are interested in the value of r so at this point we had let r cubed to be x so this will resurface at this particular step so that we have r cubed is equal to 8 this implies because r cubed is x so we can also say r cubed is 8 so that implies that r is equivalent to so we find the cube root of 8 and that is 2 we can also say r cubed is equal to 1 which implies that r is 1 so in the equation we are asked to find the value of r that satisfies the progression of course when r is 1 we may not get the desired result so we'll go by r is equal to 2 so the common ratio we are interested in here is 2 so straight to part c given that the tenth term of the gp is 5120 find the values of a and d so we are given the tenth term of the gp and the tenth term is a r power 10 minus 1 and that is 9 we are given that value as 5120 but from here we already know the value of r which is 2 so we say let's consider just this pair so we say that a into 2 power 9 is equal to 5120 that means the first term is 5120 all divided by 2 power 9 and that when divided should be 10 
when I use my calculator I get the value of a as 10. So if a is 10 we are also required to get the value of d. So for the value of d we'll just come back to any of these equations. So we can come to this one here so that we say d is equal to a r cubed minus a a r cubed minus a so this is equivalent to a we know is 10 r is 2 and 2 cubed that is 8 minus 10 and that is 70 so this is for part c finally calculate the sum of the first 20 terms of the AP. Now for the AP we are going to have, so that is for part D, for an AP the sum of the first 20 terms is given by, so in the formula we have the number of terms over 2 and the number of terms here is 20, so we have 20 over 2 into 2 times a, that is 2 times the first term, and the first term is already 10. So we have 2 times 10, that is 20, plus n minus 1, and n is 20. So 20 minus 1, that is 19, and then n minus 1 times d, and d we already have here as 70. So this should give us 10 into 20 plus this is 1330 1330 plus 20 that is 1350 1350 times 10 that gives us 13500 so that gives us the sum of the first 20 terms of the AP so this is an AP so that is it for this question and that is it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope just to see you in the next video.